Now that we know it was a technical issue, you may have heard that speculation that it was a solar phenomenon causing it. And for that, Mario Ruiz is here to explain what's happening on the surface of the sun, Mario. Yeah, you know, really interesting. I thought it'd be a fun way to kind of introduce some space weather chat into our mornings, right? Who doesn't love that? I do want to emphasize that space weather and earth weather are not the same thing. We're experts in earth weather. But of course, science is always fun. So here's a look at satellite imagery. This is the sun, y'all. And uh, during that solar flare, you can see that really bright spot. That's just one of them. The other one you can kind of see there on the bottom of left hand of the sun. Okay, so these were our two major solar flares that happened. We have had a total of three this week, but I want to focus on the first two that happened. The first one was Wednesday afternoon and evening around 5.07 local time. The second one happened overnight Wednesday into Thursday right after midnight. So that one was the one that they were like, oh, that could have caused the issues with the outage. But let's talk about what it is. The, the flare is actually an eruption of energy uh, from the sun. It can last anywhere from minutes to hours. R3 signifies a strong solar flare. That's just a, a space weather scale and that does not happen very frequent. So this week just happened to be a coincidence, uh, but this actually can disrupt high frequency radio signals, radar and GPS. But this this can only happen on the sunlit side of the Earth, which we were not at when these happened. So a space weather event did not cause the outage because cell phones also happen to be low frequency. So you don't have to worry about that in the future, Mark.